The war has finished. We did it. You made me proud. They've got to be around here somewhere. You... You're... Lieutenant Colonel Klaus Waltz of the Imperial Army. This is Cremaria and her faithful knight Fenrir. <sighs> Winter Witch. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I'm Captain Claude Wallace. I'm commanding this op in place of Captain Roland Morgan. Claude! So you're the leader of Squad E! My soulmate, we finally meet! Uh... I'm the commander of Ausbrook. After all the times we've clashed, it's a pleasure to see you in person. Never thought we'd see each other alive. Lady Luck works in mysterious ways. So you were the man in the black tank. Forsetti told me all about you, Claude Wallace. Now I finally have a face to put to the stories. They called you strange, but... incredible. Forsetti said that? Something happened to him. He's dead. Hmm. And you, over there, you've got his hair. So you're his sister. He told me about you, too. He did? Forsetti never talked much about himself, but he let a few things slip here and there. He felt pretty bad about the hell he put you through. I guess he had big plans to make it all up to you. Once he achieved his goal, he was gonna take asylum in a neutral country and live there. Just the three of us. The three of us. Together. So, he still loved me after all. Running away to atone for his sins. That's my brother, all right. Always did whatever he damn well pleased. Not what I expected from the infamous vaults. Yeah. Believe me, he can be absolutely insufferable. <laughs> And an incorrigible womanizer, besides. Not what you expected from the Winter Witch, either, I take it. The truth... is stranger than fiction. What happens to her now? I don't know. She's been through so much. More than she can handle, I'm afraid. Indeed. But we'll take care of her. I promise.
Almost a shame, really. I didn't intend to show my hand so soon. So be it then. Begin. Yes, Doctor. Now, come with me. There's nowhere to run on the Crystal Sea. Ah, the fruits of our labor. The miracle Al and I created. Valkyria-induced Ragnite implosion. The ultimate source of power. I won't let anyone else have it. It's mine. Oh, mine! <laughs> the Centurion! It's been harpooned. They're dragging it into the canal. He's after the bomb. Guess he wants to take it out to sea. But staging a one-man encore? Bad form, Doc. Bad form. Miles, Dan, Ronald, come here! We're going to board the Centurion and take it back. Th that's way too dangerous! How are we supposed to board it? We'll never catch up. Klaus. Yeah. Hey, you can borrow my tank. Lieutenant Colonel. To be fair, she's too beat up to fight. Just like me. But she can still run just fine. You of all people know how fast she is. I appreciate it. All right, let's go. Then hey, wait for me! Riley, you stay here and... If we run this ship back toward land, we can keep the sub from taking it. You're gonna play tug-of-war with a submarine? If we don't, they'll take the Centurion, with Angie inside! <laughs> I'm the only one who can get the ship there fast enough. Take me with you. Okay. I'm counting on you to get it moving. Your wish is my command. You're in charge of backup, Kai. Right. See you soon. Okay. We should get going, too. <clears throat> Don't die out there. Kind of reminds me of him. She's a real fine woman. <clears throat> hey, easy. I was talking about her integrity, not her ass. Hitting a tank against that metal monstrosity. They're all fools. Yeah, that's what I love about them. Through the madness of the battlefield, they held on to the things that smart people. Go away. Innocence, honesty, recklessness. And then again, maybe that's just youth. No wonder a fossil like me couldn't beat them. I'm obsolete. <laughs> okay, we made it aboard. I already knew Imperial tank technology was cutting edge, but feeling that acceleration firsthand? What a rush! How's the engine room? <sighs> Looks all right. Can you get it running again? I'll try. Keep watch for me. How's it going? Revving up the main reactor. <laughs> All right, it's working. It's down to a test of strength between us and them. Angie, if you can hear me, we need your help. The Centurion is resisting. Honestly, they always insist on doing things the hard way. Why can't they see? The reactor's true potential can only be realized in my hands. I would have thought Riley would understand at least. Well, I'll just have to move up my plans. Keep our guests entertained until then. 
After all, genius is 1% revelation, 99% improvisation. They broke the bonds. Good. What now, Claude? Capture the vessel? Not yet. There's a ceasefire in place. Let them make the first move. Captain Wallace! We're fine, Marie. Emergency! Enemy soldiers have already boarded the ship! What? While we were fighting on the surface, they snuck aboard from under the sea. They're heading for the engine room. They must be after whatever's in the restricted area. Damn, the harpoons were just a diversion. Hello there, my dear. We meet at last. Wonderful. Just wonderful. Beyond my wildest dreams. I've worked on hundreds of Valkyria, yet none have radiated such beautiful azure light. It's even more brilliant than the glow of Ragnite. But I want to see the sun. Now, let there be light! It's a miracle. Do you see it too, Al? Clear as day. The Valkyria is reaching critical mass. Good. Good. All that remains is to measure it. I need precise data on the explosion. <laughs> Whose hypothesis will prove true, Al? Yours or mine? What? What's that light? Ragnite? No, it's stronger than that! I've seen this before. But the Cavalier! The A2 bomb has been activated! Angelica! 